China has spent years building dominance across every stage of the lithium-ion value chain, from raw material extraction to cell production equipment. In October 2025, the People's Republic of China announced a new round of export controls that hit right where it hurts. Battery manufacturing equipment, graphite anode materials, and other dual-use technologies. If your production line relies on Chinese tooling, anode materials, or specialty electrolyte components, you're suddenly facing licensing delays, quota limits, or outright denials. It's strategic choke point engineering. China has spent years building dominance across every stage of the lithium ion value chain, from raw material extraction to cell production equipment. These export controls are a reminder. If they can't sell you the cells, they'll make sure you can't make them either. Even if your company claims we don't buy Chinese cells, if your tooling, your coating line, or your graphite feedstock originates in the PRC, you're still vulnerable. This is how supply chains collapse, not with one catastrophic event, but with a series of small, quiet denials that strangle capacity over time. And that's exactly why American Lithium Energy made a different choice. Every element of our mega factory is designed for U.S. origin or allied supply chain independence. We work with American and trusted partner tooling, materials, and processes, 0.5 seconds, 0.5 seconds, because we know that the next generation of deterrence isn't about who can deploy first. It's about who can keep deploying when the global trade winds shift. This is an energy war fought in slow motion, and America is finally fighting back. 